you have any other questions about the core data in testing? Uh, so yeah, I only wrote this one test case because sometimes I don't know what to test. Uh, like in this case, can you think of any other things I need to test against core data? So what are you testing here specifically? Uh, so it's in the name. So I purchased places on background context. And uh, so first I uh, seed with some old places and then I remove the old places. Uh, so use a batch delete, I remove the old places and then I create new places and uh, I save it. And then I assert uh, currently the new places, only new places exist in my database, not the old places. And uh, if you scroll up a little bit, uh, I created this old places and new places, but they are random actually, samples, right? They're actually different because that's a computed oh. property and uh, they have different IDs. So every mm -hmm. time I use it, uh, they're different. Yes. So, so you, what you want to test is that you'd want to test the behavior of your code. You don't need to test core data because core data was already tested by Apple, right? So you don't need to test that core data does what you expect, but that your code is set up correctly to avoid keeping both the, the caches, right? So where are you calling your code? Because here, yeah, it's do you have a the context? Sorry? It's through the context of what's going on. Yes, but do you have a class that performs the operations on core data? Because all the logic here is in the test and not in a specific component that should do this logic. Does that make yeah. sense? Uh, so this code, is this your code? Uh, this is my code, yeah. Right. Wrote, so uh, you're testing this method then? Uh, I am testing that method, yes. It's a batch deletion. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this looks like implementation details that some other component would use. For example, you want to test that. Imagine you have a component like a core data store. What are you storing here? Places. Places core data store. And it has a simple API that your client can use, like save. You pass here some places. Places or place? Uh, says dot place. Right? Uh, yes. And you want to test that if you call this save twice, Will, and you also have a return, let's say, like something that returns it, like you retrieve places. So you will create your, your, your method here, your class in the test, and you will test that if I call save places twice with two different data sets, and then I retrieve a place, I will get the old places without I will get the new places without the old places. So you're testing your code doing it. Internally, it will use the delete and merge changes. It will create places in the core data, but those are all implementation details that maybe shouldn't be in the test side. It should be in yeah. production code. And then you test your production code. For example, you pass your places, right? And you can move this logic to production. So we need a context, say context, it's an NS managed text. Need with context. Private as well. Context. 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 Of course you need to protect by and await. A 
Okay. Okay. Say throws here. Okay, throws. Make it async as well. You say you prefer the APIs, right? So try wait perform. Sure, context. Okay, so. And then new data. So after you insert something, you want to delete the old ones? Uh, yes, uh, here I'm deleting the old one before I inserting the new one. Mm, so this is a behavior that should probably be here. Yeah. For example, every time you add new places, you delete all the old ones and then you add the new ones, right? So this is implementation detail. And then you call save. Okay, the same thing. And to get your items here, you have the retrieve places that will be async throws. Return context. Context. Uh, it's Sorry? now called context. Uh, oh, we need to map that, right? Uh, yeah, I already have the mapping method. Uh, what is it? I think it's called to domain. Mm -hmm. But I, I think you may need to use compact map because two domain is returning an optional. The map can fail. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Context, context, context. Yeah. So we don't need to fetch here. Yeah. We just save. Okay. It's also protect access here. So I have a question here. Uh, so if we only have one uh, execution in the function. You don't actually need the, to write a return. Like here, like both of these returns can be omitted, right? Yes. Uh, is there a specific reason you would prefer to write returns? When there is more than one thing going on like this, I find it easier to understand. Mm. But it's just a personal preference. Okay. But it doesn't feel like the result of this will be returned here because that's what's going on. The result of this block will be returned here. Mm, okay. So the result of this will be returned into this block, and this block will return the result. Because if you check the interface, it expects any generic T and returns that T. <laughs> so whatever we return here will be returned for the color of the perform API. Okay. But this is a team decision. Like if your team is used to not seeing the return and they don't understand what's going on. Yeah. Just that for educational purposes, we always try to be as ex explicit as possible, not to confuse people that are watching this video. <laughs> I see. Understand. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you see that, that this logic should be encapsulated in your own type and you will test that type through the test. Right, I, I thought my test was too verbose, like too long. So your system yeah. under test would be something like the context as a depend you pass a context as a, as a dependency to your SUT, and this is just this, this tag. 
So not testing the, we need to test the data stack directly or calling the methods directly on the context. You will test that your component does what it's supposed to. So you will call save old places, save new places. And you will assert that the result should be new places. And right, when you load that, mm -hmm. dot retrieve. So let's say retrieved places because a CT that retrieve places like this and then you hide all the complexity of core data in the implementation so the test is decoupled from the implementation which means you can change the implementation to optimize it to make it more performant or for yeah. whatever reason change the schema in the core data without breaking the tests to test the behavior if I save this twice with different values the retrieve values should be the latest one Right. Right. So here we need to. We're not testing the implementation details. Look how much simpler the test becomes as well. Even hide the stack internally. Maybe pass here if it is in memory. In memory. Pass this and create the stack internally. Yeah, but you need the property. Little the property. Idea. Yeah. The test now. We create, we are testing our code, not the internals of their code. So we are free to change anything here to make it more performant, to change the scheme of, we can change the scheme of core data, we can rename internal types of core data, and this is all hidden in your component. This will be in production or in the test. You move this to production and your code that needs to save things to core data will also use this simple API here that never exposes the CD place. You only deal with your own app models. Uh, yeah, I call it do domain models, domain entity. Okay. So this place lives here in the domain module. Yes. Yeah, it makes, makes it makes a lot of sense now, yes. So now you're testing the behavior. The behavior is if I save twice, I want to retrieve always the latest one. That's the behavior we are testing here without leaking implementation details. So you are free to change implementation details. And as long as you don't break the behavior, the test should pass.